Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is part 6 of the leg rig tutorial that I'm making. So if you haven't seen 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, go ahead and check those out. And um, because in the last parts we made the mesh, we added a rig, we parented to the to the mesh, and we set up this neat little uh, IK constraint. So in this part, we're going to add the knee targets, which so we can control where the knees point. And we're going to make this roll instead of going like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So first let's set up the knee targets. Go on the side view. Go ahead and select this one right here. This bone here. Just have it going to edit mode. And let's go ahead and add a, the, the target. Go ahead and place it right here. Right about where the knees are. And as you can see it duplicated it on both sides. And let's go ahead and make both of these a uh, child of torso. So that whenever the tor torso moves, these move along with it. So let's go ahead and name these. Just like this. Knee underscore target dot L. Go ahead and copy it. Put this one over here. And change this to dot R. Okay. So these automatically um, they duplicated the, the constraints with them. So to just just uh, erase them, go into edit mode and just put X and do that with both of them and they snap back so now that we have that let's go ahead and just add the the IK constraint so we want it to uh, the this bone to follow this and because this controls the rotation for all of these other ones or at least this one so let's go ahead and select this one uh, the knee target let's go ahead and select upper leg and press shift I to active bone and it messes up everything so let's just turn the chain link to one and it just restricts it to this one bone. So now if we try to move it, it follows it. Let me show you better. Uh, example. See? It follows it very nicely. And yeah. So and the reason it uh, does that, and the reason we parent it to this one, is because this one moves this one. So there's no so that's it. And the reason we turn the chain link to one is because we don't want this one following it too. So let's go ahead and do the same. Just like this, just like this. Shift I, chain link to one. And we have got our knee targets. Very simple thing to do. And I've learned all this from uh, the Man Candy FAQ, um, Nathan Bechdahl's tutorial on his um, on the character Rinky from Big Buck Bunny seen individual tutorials and I've had a lot of trial and error by myself okay so now I set up the roll so you want to select this bone here just add it on edit mode and you want to duplicate this so press shift D to duplicate okay and then you want to press RX and just rotate it exactly 180 degrees over or at least until it looks like this and let's go ahead and make these a child of um, yeah, leg R and yeah. So actually, it's pretty good. See how this these move along with it. Okay, cool. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and change the name. Let's turn these to foot underscore roll dot L and dot R. Okay. Oops. Sorry, I forgot to put dot .r here. Okay. So now that we have that, we want the roll bones to be the parents of the normal foot bones. So go ahead and select this. Select the roll bone. Control P. Doesn't matter if you make it connected or not. But so let's go ahead and hide this one to see how the functionality works. And it works perfect. Fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same. Actually, I think it, because these have the same names and x where x axis mirrors on, it should have done the same thing, and it did. So that saved us some work. Okay, so now uh, press Alt H to unhide those. Instead of hiding them, let's go ahead and just put them to a different bone layer. So select both of them, press M, and put them to the bottom bone layer. And if you want to access them, they're right here under the display options. Okay, so 
now that we have this, um, let's go ahead, since we don't want to rotate it any, we don't want to rotate it like this, or anything like that, we just want it to rotate on its on the X axis, right? So press N to bring up the properties, and you want to lock, lock every rotation except X, so that no matter what we do, it only rotates on the X axis, and that's really nice. Okay, so one thing you might notice is when we go too far, this stretching happens. And this is easy fixable. And I will post that in the next tutorial. Um, but we have a we have a lot of time time here. So um let's see here. As you can see here, if you try to go ahead and uh, rotate the torso, it gets kind of a hip movement here but um, once we get all the constraints and everything it'll look much better and um, one thing you notice if you go ahead and select the torso and press G uh, you get this cool bending effect and you don't even have to animate it and, like if you want them to sit, sit down go ahead and rotate this right there and he's sitting and that's pretty cool and um, one thing you might notice here, let's go ahead and fix this. When we move too far down, this overlaps. So let's go ahead and press this. Alt H. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and. Uh, oops, sorry. Let's go ahead and turn on this display layer. So yeah, here, here's the problem. Let's go ahead and press Alt G for this. Um, like I said earlier, sometimes you need the same, the same uh, vertexes to be in two bones so that they can, so they won't overlap. So let's go ahead and just do that and see if that works. So let's go ahead and select this, and that actually seemed to fix it. Okay. So let's get out of weight paint mode, select this, everything, change the rotation and the location, let's test everything one more time. Okay, so thanks for watching this part, if you haven't seen 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, go ahead and check those out, and thanks for watching this tutorial, and don't forget to save it. Okay, so thanks for watching.